nothing like a nice road burning funny car, and these youngsters are about to get an education in extremely high horsepower. Here is John Medlin doing the final touches to Tony Pedregon's car as they sit down as tight as they can on the Simpson belt, and they got 6,000 horsepower about ready to take Tony down the track, and hopefully Bob speeding his boss. Yep, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen. This will be an all-out drag race to the finish line. John Force is so far out in front of the points, he could take a spring break and probably win his sixth championship here this year. Tony Pedregon is extremely confident. Now, I'll tell you what, there's a little bit of bragging rights up for grabs right here. The one camp certainly wants to beat the other camp. They ran earlier this season. Tony ran a 300-mile-an-hour run against him down in Houston and is certainly not afraid of the five-town Winston champion. A little bit of bragging rights? How about a whole bunch of bragging rights? These crews work right next door to each other, Steve, and I gotta believe nobody's gonna let anybody forget this one for quite a while. We had our spies in that camp, and I can tell you, they did not soften up the clutch and Tony Stark. They did not put a rag blower on it. They did not put a set of jump sets on it. It is exactly as it was in the semifinals when Tony got the lane choice. This is a battle between two guys that want to race desperately and have a lot of bragging rights. It's over. Now, the one thing that will make this even bigger for Tony Pedregon is if he can win this, is that even though the boat's sponsored by Castro, don't forget R&D parts are on Tony's car, whereas more of the we know what will work parts are on Force's car. Tony's car sometimes will even run some of the used parts on the Force's car. So if he can do it, he's doing it with a lot less. The thing about the finals is the track is in great condition here. Meanwhile, here comes the champion. You gotta love it. The racetrack here, I just thought, with both crew teams for the team, and I've already spoken with the guys in Top Fuel, they really like the way the racetrack looks. It's in great shape. Could be a high 490 run here in the finals, boys. I think that's very possible, Bob. And the other thing that's really interesting is Tony also told me that these two teams would share information all the way through into the finals. They were not afraid to say, well, okay, at this point, we're going to go use our black book, you go use yours. They wanted to get these cars set up as good as they could to put on the best show they could for the fans and the grandstands here at the Grand National. And it's been kind of interesting to watch the performance of these cars. Force ran first in round number one, and then he caught back up. Radio let them know what they did to the car and how it performed. And see, they were able to make changes to Tony's car. We saw the first 300 run out of Tony's, and next round, John matched up with a 300 mile an hour run. Well, Ralph, call me a dreamer, but I think there's a potential here for the first ever four second 300 mile an hour side by side funny car duel. I think I would jump on that bandwagon as well. This is going to be one of the best Nitro finals we've seen in a long time here on TNN. John Ford, the big dog, going up against his own stablemate. The win right comes to Tony Pentagon with a 5'1", 294 miles an hour to a losing 5'3", 276 miles an hour. Now, take a look at the replay. We were talking a lot about all the other numbers. Well, reaction time was in the favor of Ford. A 494 to a sleepy 511. But look at the problems with the flames on Force's car. The far end of the racetrack, Pedricon's car works all the way down the quarter mile. He picks up a healthy win, and is this guy happy? John Medlin just said, bragging rights are mine, so we have to do it again. And you can be sure the first person to come over and congratulate Tony Pedricon, of course, will be Evans, but you know Force won't be far behind, Steve. Johnny, a fabulous contest for the fans and everyone at home. He left on you a bit, but you had the power where he counted in the middle of the race track. Yeah, I'll tell you what, i got to give all the credit to my team. You know, they're a 
I got to tell you, John's the, the genuine article. You know, he's a, a man of his word. And uh, my guys really deserve all the credit. You know, they worked awful hard to get here. And, you know, for John to just let us go at it like this, you know, it, it just uh, you know, says a lot about him. He's a special guy, John Forrest. Give it a hat to the Castro guys and the quality of the show. And here's a look at the point sports. He doesn't lose too much. So Tony Pentagon picks up a bunch, Bob. The top fuel final should be everything we just saw in that funny car final. And close stop. They've been great drag races here. I just talked with Carol Gwynn, and I'm telling you, he's a little bit nervous. It's been a while since they've been able to pick up a win here, and they got to go against one of the legends. It'll be Don Perdone, the Miller car, the kid going up against Daryl Gwynn, Mike Dunn in the Mopar car. Lots of fun. The fastest cars in all the motorsports coming up next live on CNN.